Hello folks, Jerry here and welcome to today's episode of Racing Rallos. In this episode we will be taking a look at this Nissan Skyline GTR. Now when I did previous sort of car showcases I actually didn't talk over it, but in this case I'm gonna make an exception. You guys might, might be asking yourself why? It's because this car is not alone. This is actually my own personal car that I traded for and I got it around uh, 24 hours ago and I already fell in love with it. I freaking love the way this car looks. Anyway, this is a Skyline R32. It was a, um, it was at least a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I went for a wrapped one. I couldn't get it, but hey, I got an unwrapped one, which you know, hey, at least we can uh, at least we can customize it. So uh, here we are. Uh, I traded my maxed ZR1 for it, which in retrospective, uh, I might have lost a bit on that. But anyway. Um, Hey, it's a tough car, so you know, whatever. Uh, this thing hasn't even been touched. Like even the tires are not up, uh, are not upgraded. And over the course of the next few videos, we will be uh, making this well, hopefully one of the best looking R32s in the whole game. So um, as I said, it's currently bone stock. I should probably just show you that like this. Um, so yeah, this is the first episode, and this one we will be stage one upgrading it, and also we'll be seeing how much it does run stock. Now I'm not entirely sure what the world record is for these, but apparently they are the fastest C-class cars. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try. Well, we're gonna figure out if that's true. Well, not in, not in this episode, Italy, really, because um, you know it's not gonna be maxed yet. But anyway, let's go multiplayer. Let's go find a lobby. Let's go raise some random people, because why not? Let's see, we have a couple of cars here. Mm, I don't know, we can just challenge a random guy, this guy or something. Let's go. I did some pre uh, some runs previously, it ran at like 14 seconds. It's, uh, it really isn't all that impressive, I have to say, but it is a, uh, it is a stock D-class. C-class car, so yeah. Also, it has a unique noise. Oop, missed the launch. But anyway, uh, the drop launch uh, light for this car is uh, late. First light. Let's see. Will we beat him? I don't think so. Nah, it was close though. Okay. I still need to work on it. Uh, I didn't run too many races with it. Let's see, 14.2, okay, so basically, you know, if we get a perfect run, um, we can, you know, just barely go under 14 seconds. Um, there really isn't much information on these cars, um, really not much interest, so I'm quite happy that I got my hands on one, uh, traded for it. I went first, but there was no uh, problems there, because, you know, the guy was legit. So anyway, as I said, stage one upgrades, so here we go. So let's see, okay. So it it really won't take too long, because you know, it is a C-class car. So we can uh, just, you know, do it normally. At a later point, we also will be, uh, well, I will be learning on how to tune a car with this thing, so... Uh, Stay tuned for that. Okay, obviously, uh, we're not gonna touch the visual upgrades just yet. Uh, it does come pre uh, with a pre-installed turbo, which is pretty cool. Well, this, does, this does add a lot of weight. Uh, okay, let's see. We have uh, some more. What does that do at weight? I should never realize uh, just how much uh, weight some of these parts do add. <laughs> I don't know. So we have that. Uh, I should, um, in case you guys are wondering, you actually cannot put any uh, arrow parts on this car, which is a shame. But hey, what can you do? So, no, we're not gonna be putting on suspension just yet. Let's see, we're gonna have that. We'll be putting NOS on it. So yeah, there goes the resale value. 20 minutes. Now we can speed it up. Um, let's make an exception. I am kind of low on gems though. So that is that. 
Like so, yeah, we are gonna keep this stock. Clutch, on the other hand, will be upgraded. The differential is one of the least rewarding par uh, parts to upgrade in the game, though. That's something that I did realize. Mm. So yeah, it is a C-class card, that's why um, all the parts are installed quite, uh, quite quickly, plus it's also really cheap, so there's that. Uh, crankshaft. Okay. Th does add a bit of weight, um, which might be an issue, but I think that that's normal, obviously. Let's see. Holy shit, some of the parts really do add quite a lot of power. Mm. Okay, so that means that we should be done. In case we just install this, let's see, how long does it take? 7 hour, uh, seven minutes and uh, 30 seconds. Whatever, we're just gonna put this on and uh, for the next part we're gonna go stage 2, because why not? Okay, <clears throat> so here it is, stage 1 upgraded. Let's see how fast it actually does go. Mm, okay, all the parts are. Um, okay, how, hold on, how much did it jump? From 1610 to 1635, which is quite a bit. So let's check it out. We didn't upgrade the suspension. We did add nitros, uh, the weakest nitros possible. And yeah, that should be stage one. Okay, let's just challenge this round, boy. And then let's see fast it goes. Maybe I even <laughs> won't miss the launch or something. I'm not sure about the engine status. I probably should have checked it out. Let's see. Oh. Did? I think it changed a bit. I'm just gonna go for late light. Uh, we did uh, beat that guy, so that's something. Let's see, that was below 12 seconds. Dang, like something around there. Okay, 11.8. Okay, that's uh, that's not too bad. Considering the launch was pretty bad, could probably get running around 12.5s. So let's try that out. Should I? I didn't even check how much uh, freaking engine stress does it have. I'm assuming like 30, something, maybe 20 to 30. I don't know. <clears throat> didn't really spend much money, like 30 grand, so... Right. Shit, I didn't take into consideration that uh, it's gonna take some... Um, uh, some freaking other CRA for me. I'm gonna have to check a couple... Well, actually sell a couple of uh, cars for that, so, you know, I can afford future episodes of this. Let's just challenge random civics. Or, I guess not, because... They're busy apparently, even though the game says that they're not busy. Fucking genius. Alright, come on. Alright. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, that would be a perfect launch as well. Uh, but no, I'm still uh, kind of useless at this game. Oh well. I should point out that I'm not gonna be pinking this car because. Uh, when max this thing is gonna be worth a lot. So yeah, also it is the first car, it is the first turf car that I've ever, you know, owned, properly owned, not just uh, had a loan for it. Right. So I guess the... <clears throat> oh, what a close race. Uh, not really. So with the freaking uh, drop light, did change to uh, early second light. Okay, we ran 11.7. Well, boosted to it would go past uh, 11.5. So that's something. Anymore, um, I'm still not sure what visual parts to put onto it. Um, there won't be any, you know, arrow parts, unfortunately. Uh, there will be paint and wheels. Uh, and uh, I have uh, kind of an idea of what I'm gonna do with it. Um, so the turf um, R32 looks sick, you know. It's white, it has um, I don't know, a decal on the hood. I don't know, 
like you really can't find much about it somehow i was looking for a wrapped one but as it turns out surprise surprise they're actually quite uh, hard to get a hold of but anyway about the r32 uh you know before i finish this video uh, it's it's my second favorite generation of the skylines the first one being the r34 and you know i'm really not a huge fan of the gtr for some reason uh the r35 so yeah and the R33 is like third on my list of, you know, Skylines from uh, favorite to uh, not that favorite. So, yeah, hopefully we'll have some uh, good fun with this thing in the future episodes. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Jerry. Uh, let me guys know, do you, uh, you know, have uh, any ideas for this car? How fast is it maxed? It would be really helpful. So. Uh, uh, go ahead and uh, leave any suggestions in the comments below. My name is Jerry. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.